one exhibition, two venues. Until May, the National Library and the Aliyahas Palace in Madrid are co-hosting an exhibition paying tribute to Leonardo da Vinci on the fifth centenary of his death. When you read The Own Leonardo, not what people wrote about Leonardo, but when you read The Own Leonardo, you can realize that he was a child, always wondering why, how, what for. So he never stopped asking. Leonardo da Vinci had an ability to invent and to observe. In addition, he was a great draftsman. There wasn't a science field he didn't try to explore. Visitors to the National Library will get the rare chance to see original 500-year-old manuscripts. The Madrid Codex 1 and 2 are kept in this temperature-controlled display case. Only 15 people at a time are admitted inside this room, only for 15 minutes. And every 10 days, the pages of the open books are turned to avoid excessive light exposure. Here you can see the differences between the two codex. This is Madrid Codex 1, a manuscript ready to be printed to be disclosed to the public. This is Madrid Codex 2, which is more like a notebook of personal appointments. You can see that the writing is not as neat, it's less calligraphic. It has also many abbreviations in the form of drawings. Y con muchas abreviaturas en forma de dibujos. Two other interesting facts you might not know. Da Vinci wrote from right to left. And in the notes of Madrid Codex II, it is possible to learn what foods he liked to eat and what his favorite color was. Hay un listado. There is a list of what he had in his closet in 1503. He always dressed in red, for example. We can find out what he used to eat as well. He was practically a vegetarian. He was very modern and 500 years ahead of many of the things that today seem to us super up-to-date. Thanks to the use of augmented reality, replicas of the whimsical machines Da Vinci often sketched can be seen both at the National Library and at Aliyaha's Palace, all possible with a special smartphone app. At Aliyaha's Palace, the whole exhibition is designed to slowly build up to a final reveal, when visitors get to see the true face of Leonardo. We want to show with the exhibition is, okay, do you think Leonardo da Vinci is uh, the way they have told you? I mean, uh, they're supposed to be self-portrait in Turin. Well, that image appears for the very first time in 1810. But how was Leonardo da Vinci represented from his death until 1810? The exhibition gathered a collection of drawings and books which try to answer this question. And they also collected testimony from famous historical figures who met Leonardo in person. People like painter Sandro Botticelli, Renaissance patron Lorenzo de Medici, or Francis I, King of France. Everyone told us a little bit of the life of Leonardo da Vinci. So we want to tell people how writers and how painters and how masters saw Leonardo da Vinci. The climax of the exhibition comes with this painting, La Tavola Lucana, which is being showed for the first time in Spain. Owned by historian Nicola Borbatelli, La Tavola Lucana is considered the only self-portrait Leonardo da Vinci ever created. He was discovered by the end of uh, 2008. He was in a private collection, and the owner, the previous owner, thought he was a copy uh, of a Galileo Galileo portrait, but all the scientific proof in this uh, say that it's very close to be from Leonardo and representing Leonardo. Actor and well-known Spanish television host is a da Vinci enthusiast. Well, after being so many years studying the figure of Leonardo da Vinci, I wanted to show people another kind of Leonardo, apart from the genius, but I wanted to show the real man. And it's likely that this face and these writings won't be forgotten for many centuries to come.